when I say we've had four months of rain, we've had four months of rain. It is absolutely downpouring. Oh, this is perfect Ulster weather. Uh -huh. It was all a dream. You guys, don't forget to use your code FALTAC 10 k at holstersmith.com for 10% off your order. I'm about to do it now, and it's going to save me quite a bit on a $600 order. Just make sure you give the guys and gals over there a huge thank you for supporting this channel and giving out that 10% code for everyone that orders through Holstersmith. And again, five times you could use that code for the entire month of August. So no joke, while it was raining yesterday and absolutely downpouring, I got fed up with my shop. I spent about five hours and I cleaned a lot of it. Put some, I had to pile some stuff there, but I cleaned a lot of the shop and got it organized and I'm still working on stuff. Still got this area to do and some of this table, but uh, I, I needed, it needed to happen. If you have a, a messy work environment, oh my God, does it, it just gets to you sometimes because you're looking for something for 10 minutes and if you were organized, it was there. So I had to spend some time and I had to clean the shop and I filled up some trash bags, got rid of some crap I didn't need. But now I got the ovens on, I got the 3D printer going. I just did a little bit of machining on some stuff, got some orders out ready to build. Let's have some fun. Let's make a dent today. Got my uh, co-pilot in the house today. My boy. <laughs> oh, okay. And another one, and another one. Hi guys. I know, it's food time, let's go get food. <sighs> guys, it is finally a beautiful day out. Sun is shining, wind is absolutely crazy, which it is what it is. But let's build a couple more holsters. I got an order for the brand new Smith & Wesson 5.7, so I ordered it in. And we're gonna be doing a simple outside the waistband, I believe it is, and yep, and a uh, chest rig. So well, let's start with the chest rig and uh, move on to the other one. So not sure if I'll film both, but I'm definitely filming one. So let's get to building. is a Boulder Pro R. There we go. Now, I just did a little trick on this muzzle device. So the uh, Smith & Wesson 5.7 has a knurled uh, thread protector on it, which all fine and dandy, but in the host world, it kind of sucks. So we could either cut it off and do a thread uh, threaded insert and then screw on a socket like I normally do, or we could do this. Now, you're probably noticing, hey, why are you wearing uh, a leather apron? Well, here's the thing. Whenever I get new shirts, I like to wear the new shirts. And whenever I have nice clothes, I still like to wear them while working. And cutting a piece of copper or anything metal sends hot shards of metal onto my clothes, which then burns holes in them and whatnot. So I purchased this on Amazon for like 30 bucks. It's made by uh, these people, Quill Ink. Something like, I don't know, I can't read it upside down. Anyways, um, this thing is pretty epic and uh, it protects my clothes, so. And when I say protects your clothes, it's protecting my brand new knife kits, their brand new design shirt, and they sent me a couple, so huge thank you to them. If you want one, order's over, I think it's $200, come with a shirt if you ask for it, and you give them their size or your size in the comments, so there you go. <laughs> so, you're probably wondering why I cut a piece of copper. So here's a piece of copper. I cut it a little bit larger than uh, the muzzle device. And it's smooth. This is knurled. So it's going to give just a little bit more texture. So I went ahead and cut it. I cut, honestly, about an eighth inch out. And then I used my forceps and spread it out. And we're going to pretty much press fit it, which is going to require more of the spreading. Here we go. Oh. And bam, now we have a rounded and larger diameter and we don't have to worry about it. So that is gonna clean up the look just a little bit. And uh, Balder Pro R, we'll get that on there. Oh, it's gonna be on the last one. So as you can see, it fits this way, but it angles up and it's too tight against here. So we know the proper fit is gonna be here. And that's where it's gonna go. Uh, it's gonna, like I said, this one's gonna be the chest rig. So let's get it going. I have already cleaned this. This is a brand new mold from uh, Multi Molds. 
Tony and his team over there. I've already cleaned it with parts cleaner. If you notice that when you get this stuff, it is uh, extremely slippery and it's got a film on it. That is the mold release from when they make the uh, the mold and, and their setup and their process. So a little bit of parts cleaner, and then what I do is I soak it with it, I spray it a whole bunch of times, and then I, I blow it off so we don't have to really worry about it. You could also bake it too, um, or use soap and water uh, after the fact. So get that going. So now this is ready, let's uh, start prepping. I do, this is already set up for suppressor height sights, but I always add my own, and that's gonna be perfect right there because we can see where the RMR goes, and this is protruding past the RMR. So we're gonna be cutting here, so that's perfect. So we're gonna attach that and then do our normal stuff that we need to do. So the channel is on. Now it's just to finish up with these guys right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and we gotta get the, uh, well, the retention plate and the blocking for the light, and that's about it. And we're gonna be using, again, our in-house fun stuff. So let's get it going. Actually, with this guy, we're gonna use the longer ones. This is a thin boy. This is actually the first rigs for this coming out of my shop. Just got the mold in not long ago. Looking forward to see how they come out. And these uh, these two holsters are going to Virginia. So for something like this, so it doesn't bubble up, I'm actually going to cut this at the blocking line. That way that can fit right there. Here, gonna have to do the same for this one. and wrap it.
go. All right. And I like to connect these in the back. All right, and then there's one thing left to do, blocking on the firearm, and that is to block out the charging port. Because if you don't, or at least in my press, what happens is it will catch onto the edges. So we just go ahead and throw a piece of eighth inch aluminum blocking, just like so. And I'll do one in the, you know, I always do them perpendicular. So one going side to side, one going front to back. All right, only thing left now is the retention plate. So I'll get that drawn up, I'll get it cut out, and then we're gonna go ahead and put it in the press. And just in case you didn't know, the presses are on. I got no foam in this one because I have both foams in this one. They have been on for probably an hour now, so the foam is nice and hot, and that is a nice trick for nice, crisp, clean uh, definition on the holsters. Luckily, the two holsters that we're making are gonna be shaped the same. Relatively, they're both going to be both pancakes. One's going to be bent, the other one's not. So we got this one all set up. And if you notice, I have the three-quarter inch. Um, I think it's three-quarter inch. I'll have to measure that for you. But I do a very thin layer for outside the waistband, so it's not a massive holster. But this is going to be going on the chest like this right here. So uh, the first one's going to be that. But before we take this apart and do everything uh, that we need to do to finish the holster, I'm going to press both at the same time. So we'll get that going. I'll get that in the press. And uh, you'll see it when the first one's out. Let's do it. Kydex is in the press, ready to go. And this one is ready to go too. <laughs> oh, buddy boy. Oh, he handsome. We're out of the press. It looks good. Uh, it folded over right here and right here. It doesn't matter. That part's going to get cut off, so I'm not worried about it. But here is the 5.7. And uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to process half of this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it out. Because this one is the chest rig version. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the eyelets in where I want them. And cut it to shape. But I'm going to treat it the same way I do as a pancake shell. So I'll put the eyelets in on this side. Leave this side open so I can pry it open and go from there. So let's go ahead. Mark everything out that we want to do. And get it going and get it out the door. Because I want to move them. <laughs> All right, so since I technically don't have a template to go off of, um, as in where this is going to be, because usually I lay something over it, but I am going to pretty much do a, a estimated guess right now, and I'm going to put quite a few eyelets in here. I just got to find where I put, there it is, underneath the PSA 5.7. All right, so we know that this does uh, RMR cut, and the RMR goes to about there. You can see it right there. So we're going to come down, and I'll go past the RMR. And we'll go right there. So I'm going to add that right there. And we'll come down probably probably that way. One more. All right, so there's that right there. And then pretty much I'll just come straight across on this side and we'll judge this part after. Uh, but this is going to be Like so, it's gonna come up. And let's see here. Let's get the straight line. Where's my contour gauge? Ah, right where I put it. Let's get this line right here going. Just misses it. Cross and see here. So I did the five plus one. Okay, just misses. All right, and we know oh, this is actually half sweat shield. So this is like coming up in this area here. It's going to come down, and we don't know where it's going to end, but it's going to be roughly roughly that area. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cut this piece off here, 
and this piece off here. That way I can get clamps on to do this right and um, drill everything. Drill guide in place. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the eyelets on this end, leave this one open so I can open it up and then press it again. But, gotta clean my holes. Set the eyelets and we'll open it up. All right, so we have a cut, we have it split. Mold is out. The actual new mold is uh, in the press right now. So, the reason being that I leave the eyelets out of this to open it is so I could add the retention because when you have this and you add the retention after the fact, it is a major pain in the butt. So, I went ahead and got the material I needed. I could throw it in here. And then after the fact, we can go ahead and put those eyelets in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and then I'll finish cutting around the outside edge, but I'm not going to cut where the trigger guard is, because I want to physically have the mold in place so I can see where the guard's going to end, because I don't want to cut too far over and expose a lot of the trigger guard. I'd rather cut too far back and slowly work my way forward. Now here's the rough cut with with this one it, it's coming out good um and then we're just gonna clean up the edges clean it up if you notice i did leave this right here half sweat shield was requested so i went ahead and just cut that right here so i could manipulate it and all the saws and whatnot so i'm just going to clean up these edges right here i'm going to do this one final because that is still in the press and by the time i'm done the edges i'll be able to knock this part out along with the second one and get all the hardware on and get them out so um pretty stoked first uh smith wesson 5.7 so i'm enjoying it let's uh I'm just going to go ahead and do it. It's kind of boring. All right, so the second one's out of the uh, out of the press. It is right here, black on the back, got it on the front. So we're going to work on that a little bit after. But I wanted to get this one going. So we need to figure out where it's going to sit. So we already know. Oh, I'm going to have to come a little lower on this side right here. No big deal on that body line like it is on this one, that's going to have to come up. Alrighty then, here, so this is going to be, I'm going to do it right there. So I'm going to cut it right here, and I'm just going to, like I said, cut on the outside of the line, I'm going to work my way in to make sure I don't overcut, because I could always take Kydex off, but I can never add it. So I'll go to the bandsaw and I'll do this real quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and check this. I could pull that off too. We won't need that. So I'm going to go ahead and check it out. We'll see you actually when it's just about finished. All right, now that that is done, it is finished. It looks awesome. Feels good. Has good retention. And again, it's fully adjustable. And there it is right there. This is going to be a chest rig. So we're going to throw it right here. Probably right at about, we'll see, right about this angle. So we'll go ahead and uh, get it on there. So when I buy these, I get these from Razco, and they're phenomenal, three-point, I love them. And what I do is I go ahead and I add an eyelet right in the end. He uses a, uh, well, I believe he uses a um, soldering iron, pushes it through the uh, nylon, and then, you know, it melts the edges and all that stuff. But I go one step further, and I go ahead and I throw an eyelet on each one. Now, when I personally put these on, I do the buckle under the right side. I know this is a right-handed holster, so I usually put it right here so you could just unbuckle it and then take it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble it. And what I'm using is a half inch post, a half inch screw, and a quarter inch bushing. And that's all I'm doing. So we're gonna have different ends. So um, top, top, top. So we'll put one here, one here, and you could adjust which one you want and whatnot. So we'll do uh, left side, right side, and then top right here. And that's how I'm gonna put it on. So 
thing that stinks is I have to put it on. There we go. There we go. So it's just like this. And I'll go ahead and throw on the hardware. And we know that's going there. And these ones get locked tight. Whoop. And you drop it. do is I'm going to there we go tangled here All right and I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of the hardware on this is a little awkward so bear with me <laughs> Back strap, there we go. And of course, you could put them on any ones you want as well. I'm gonna throw this right here in the bottom. And these are adjustable for skinny guys and larger guys. I think I'm going to move this one a little bit. Should I move it down? Oh yeah, much better right there. There and I prefer the three points over the two points. I'm not really a fan of the two point slings. I tried them and there's too much flop. So this we can tighten up to whatever we want. So it's really in there. And with the amount of eyelets on each side, you could adjust the angle. So the further up we go, it'll be like that. Down we go, it could be like this. So it's really whatever you want. And of course, we got that right there. So here's the FN, uh, FN, wow. Here's the Smith & Wesson 5.7, the brand new build from them with the Balder Pro R. And yeah, so you could grab and pull, or if you're, you know, you can just pull and go too. So that's all that matters. That's all she wrote. And I'm gonna move on to this build. And that way I can get this water out. And a huge thank you for you guys making it this far in the video. If you didn't know, with our 10K giveaway, it is the entire month of August, which means if you go to holstersmith.com, you can use code you can use code FALTAC10K and that'll get you 10% off your order. You can use it five times. I've already used it two or three times and I just got delivery today of the first one, which is 10 sheets of black and a whole bunch of material, which is what I needed for the entire month of the orders I'm working on. So thank the Lord. Actually, thanks Steve Andrews and the crew down at holstersmith.com. They actually sent me a couple uh, samples too that I might give away as well because they were given to me and uh, it's not right making money off it. So I might give them away to you guys. So if you have an idea, we have the brand new basket weave. I forgot what it's called on the website, but it is just loaded with the money. Look at, look at that. Now I have no idea how to sublimate basket weave because of all the dips in the valleys or all the uh, pills in the valleys. So yeah, this, I mean, really it doesn't do it justice. Just the texture with the print on it. So there's this one along with the camo, which is just a 3d camo, which works. It, it just looks epic and not to not, not going to lie. It's, it's, it's pretty sexy. And then uh, with their uh, toxic yellow, they also have that cryptic and a few other things. And this is what it looks like. So this toxic yellow with the print on it is 
phenomenal. So uh, I need ideas. What do you guys want to see built? And like I said, maybe I'll just give them away these three items to you guys here. So we'll figure that something out. Let me know what you think in the comments because I'll just go with one of those and do it. And uh, I am going to move on to the next build so I can get this order out because a lot of my holster orders are two or three plus with uh, with items and holsters and uh, like this. This holster took a couple hours. The next one is going to be just the same. So I appreciate all you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next one. See you later. Bye. And of course, I'm not going to leave you guys in the dust with the other build that happened. I did finish it. Here it is right here. This is pretty much the same version. The only difference with the outside of the waistband and the chest rigs that I do personally is uh, I bend the wings for the belt clips. You can do that and you can actually convert from chest to hip if you want to with this particular setup. But um, yeah, it's done. It is going to get lasered and it's going out. So these are going straight to Virginia and they're going to be in the mail tomorrow. So actually they're going to be in the mail today because I'm on my way to the post office. So I'll package them up. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a fabulous, entertaining, and amazing weekend. Be safe. Bye.